Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure diorama review. Today, we're going to be looking at the MMM Toys Street Platform 112 scale diorama. Now, I got versions A, B, and C, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not exactly sure what I got here. It looked like you could combine A and B to make one sort of street diorama version, and maybe C is both of them put together. If that's the case, I'm happy to have two of these. If it's not, I'm really curious to see what you get. These guys are all for sale at the Big Bag Toy Store. They're in stock right now at BBTS. They're very expensive. If you want to get them, you might check out this review first. I wish I had seen a review before I bought them. But if the thing's even remotely as good as it looks, I'll be very pleased. So you can see three different boxes here. A, B, and C. Here's how they look from the top side. Giant boxes, especially the set of C. Here are the contents from the street platform A. Looks like one piece and some kind of electronics. Not really sure what that's for. I noticed it comes with no instructions, so I'm simply gonna have to use the photo from Big Bad Toy Store to assemble this thing. Here are the contents of the street platform B. Looks like it's a little bit wider and it should connect to letter A. And when opening letter C, this is what's inside. It looks like I was right. It's a combination of A and B. And here's what you get in a straight platform C. It's both A and B combined. Here are the pieces you get with street platform A. You have the side of a building. It's got a functioning door and special windows up top. You have an additional sort of street road piece. Then you also have this LED light here. It's gonna be very bright takes AAA batteries, so nothing hard to come by. And then you have this sign, sort of a Chinese shop. Here's the diorama put together. No real assembly required. Ended up putting batteries into this light here, and boy, that thing is bright. Here's a street scene diorama with the light on. Makes for a nice atmosphere and a good mood for down there. It's a pretty cool effect. My only complaint would be the wire in this thing is kind of small. You have to tuck the battery holder at the top there. I wish there was some sort of clamp on the back you could wrap it around. That would really be helpful. Here's a street scene diorama with the light on and the lights in the room off. Pretty cool. And with some dim light in the room. Here would be the contents of diorama B. We have the side of the building, window up top, another functioning door. It also has a sign for up top. It's got the same LED light fixture, and it has an air conditioner, and a clip, which is possibly for the air conditioner. Here's diorama B, fully assembled. We have the sign attached, the air conditioner up top, and the LED light. Here it is, with the light on. The light on with the lights off, and the light on with a dim light in the room. Here are dioramas A and B put together. This pretty much makes C. Now, B has this curved end, so it has to be on the left hand side. And I wanted to put all four of these things together. It'd be a little bit difficult. No problem with the A, the B, and another A. But the next B has that curved end and it overhangs so you can't put it next to the other one. But I've seen some other really cool things you can do with this. This would just be a break between the buildings. Maybe an alleyway. Going down here. You could also make the thing into a whole strip. Almost like a neighborhood. We have the three shops next to each other, or even one large shop, and then it curls around to another part of the building. That looks absolutely fantastic. I hope we can find somewhere in my action figure world a corner to assemble these things around. So this would be the ideal way to display this thing if you got two sets like me, wrapping it around the corner like so. This is actually a pretty fantastic, well-detailed set. Looks for a natural, just sort of city setup. And I actually love that sort of stuff. It's going to be a fantastic addition to my overall action figure collection. Even these signs work. This could be part of, I don't know, maybe Chinatown in Gotham City. It looks pretty cool, with all four sort of entryways lit up. Here's how it looks in a mostly dark type setup. And here's how it would look with just simply one side of the diorama, like most sane people would just buy. Now let's look at the measurements of this thing, so you can see if the other space to accommodate it. 
And as far as how wide it goes with the extra floor piece, about 22 inches wide. Remove the extra floor piece, it's about 16 inches wide. As far as how tall it goes, about just shy of 16 inches tall. And as far as how deep or far back it goes, about 7 inches deep. Now let's look at the action features of this thing. Now we've already taken a pretty good look at this thing both not lit and lit. Now it also has actual functioning doors. They don't come outward, but you can completely swing them open, put figures coming in and out of here. It's a very nice feature. It has these sort of functioning windows. They have plastic simulating glass, but there's no ledge at the back, so you can't really have a figure looking out those windows. Now this thing is made of a resiny type material. It is fragile and it can break. You can see the ledge here. Both the left and right side have some chips out. Now I did not do that. It came this way. And on the other side of the curved ledge, there are some more chips there too. This thing came packed pretty nice in styrofoam. I sure didn't drop anything and break this. Now they're taking a pretty good look at the diorama, the assembly, the measurements, and the action features. Now let's put some guys in this thing. Here's an example of the Batman and Lieutenant Gordon interrogating the Penguin, reenacting a scene from the Batman. Here's an example of a Gotham whore looking for a midnight rendezvous. Here's Night Owl and Rorschach for the Watchmen. The two of them worked together to clean up the streets for years before the events of the film. And you could very easily substitute a Batman and Robin in the exact same type of scene. Here's just an overall regular city scene setup. Regular citizens just walking down the streets, living their lives. Regular people in the background of my action figure world. Two thumbs up. One thing I don't really like about this diorama, the ledge is pretty much unusable. You have these large boxes with the batteries in them, some wires going across. Sure, I could probably find some way to rig it and put those in the back. That would be ideal. But as it is right now, the ledge is too small for the figure, and it has all this electrical junk in the way. I'll have to find a workaround there. Shouldn't be that hard. Now let's check the diorama out. Next is my action figures from different various companies to see how it fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you wouldn't know which lines will work with this diorama. And it's very versatile. It'll work with your smaller 6-inch figures, all the way to your larger 7-inch stuff. Here it is with some Jack specific wrestling figures, some DST or Diamond Select toys, and with some McFarland toys. Then, with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures, some NECA figures, and some Mattel wrestling figures. And here it is, with some Jazzwares AEW wrestlers, some Mezco 112 Collective figures, and some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And finally, here it is, with some Mayfix figures, some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and some SH figure arts action figures. Like I said before, it'll work with the small line of 6 inch collecting all the way to the large end of 7 inch collecting with a little bit of comfort room. Overall, this is a fantastic diorama, but it's not without some quality control issues. Minus a couple of chip pieces, but it's not noticeable from the naked eye. Also, at least one of these three doors doesn't really shut all the way. A little bit annoying. The lights, the battery box, the wire, also a little bit annoying, but there's definitely a fix for that. The fact that the lights don't actually sort of secure in any place traditionally, you just have to sort of wedge them in under the sign, that's also a little bit annoying. It works, but it's very easy to sort of bump something and it all comes crashing down. This thing does look fantastic, the detail's excellent, the scaling's pretty good, although I wish the top part was just a little bit taller. If I were to rate this diorama, I'm probably going to give it an 8 out of 10. For my personal uses, it's going to be fantastic. And I know I can put it around one of my bookshelves as a quarter piece. So it's going to work out perfect. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure diorama and action figure reviews from me, Press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.